All right, and hey there, Product Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Scarlet Randomizer Nuzlocke. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we actually went and head on into the Monteveri Gym and went and did the gym puzzle as well, too. And if you guys don't know about the Monteveri Gym, this whole area revolves around with double battles, which I am not a big fan of. But however, uh, it was a little bit scary at first, uh, I do have to say, though, uh, because I wasn't really expecting on what type of uh, Pokemon we're going to be uh, heading out with some of the different trainers. Uh, but it was actually kind of funny because it seems like each of the different trainers that we're battling out with all had their uh, own type of like typing of their own like type of team that they have so like we battled out with one that was kind of revolving around with fire one was kind of revolving around with like ghost types and whatnot and I think there was also one I think that was revolved around with water typing which that was actually pretty cool but the one with MC Sledge though absolutely annoying I do not like that uh, Hound Doom with the Volt Absorber ability that was just really annoying just with having Demon out there just for that but however we're going to do a little bit of a team recap here. I'm not going to go into too much details about what's going on, uh, except that I did not actually get to know that the ability was Strong Jaw here for Demon. I don't know if uh, if that was a move that has just been recently changed around or the ability that's been changed around at, uh, at all, but pretty cool there. Uh, at least we do have Bite, which that will be able to do enough damage to some other Pokemon, but we also do have uh, out here with Molten as well. Iris is also here, Amy, and also with Kaizo. Even though that unfortunately we did lose out on Amon, we don't really have breathing at this point but so far the team has been working out pretty well with just only just five pokemon so been happy about with that so let's just go and uh yep t pose our way back over here to the uh gym registry area and finally get to go and head right on over to where rhyme is going to be so yes let's go and challenge the gym leader rhyme the mc of the rip let's go and do it well very well allow me to go and show you to the battle course okay and let's do it and let's get this battle Finished, done, and once and for all. Now, I will be doing back-to-back -back videos here for my post-recording schedules uh, because I actually have to go and take care of Rhyme and then also go and then take care of Grusha with her gym puzzle right afterwards. So there's going to be quite a bit of post-recording that I kind of have to do. And not only that, but I do have to go through Link Between Worlds as well uh, for one of the other videos uh, for the uh, Grusha battle as well too. So you guys will be able to see those, I think, for the next day happening forward after, uh, after these two because, of course, we are going to be doing some Mario... Uh, 3D World uh, co-op as well too, so I uh, hope you guys do go and check it on that. We are almost about to be slowly making our way over to the World 3 Bowser Castle soon, but we just have to go and take care of a few more levels beforehand. So I guess this trainer is also trying to go and challenge out on uh, on Rhyme as well. So I'm a spectator of which there is no protector. In a victory unto, uh, uh, well, unto uh, me, you will render when the crowd sees you are a mere pretender. Oh man, it's a wrap off. You want to go and end my reign? Yeah, they keep dreaming. They buy a book of Rhymes, kids. Start reading. Oh, man. Uh, well, I'm done with you. Uh, my my rhyme's totally whipped. I'll be back uh, maybe after my next shift. Oh, man. Well, hold up. Where are you going? That's all that you got? After my next shift. Seriously, bars over jokes? Come on, now. Well, let's go. I'm ready for this battle, man. No more talking. Let's get to it. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys also saw uh, from my community tab, but I did let you guys know about what the next series is going to be happening once I am done here with the Pokemon Scarlet Randall Lock, and that is going to be coming back to some old school series that I used to do back in my uh, uh, back in the day on my channel here, which that of course is going to be with Pokemon Coliseum and also with Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, the two best favorable type of games that I think uh, for me are really awesome fun Pokemon games, and uh, it's too bad that they never really kept on forwarding uh through the shadow pokemon still but hopefully at least maybe there will be a day where we'll, well we may probably get to see a maybe a remaster of these two games or maybe get ourselves with a third installment for it as well which i think that'd be really cool but yes i will be coming back to those but hey okay well this is interesting so her team is gonna be a little bit different compared to the other ones that we've seen from before with all the different trainers so i guess her team is not gonna be the same probably with the same type of typing out here because one's with ice and one's with like I think, what was it, like Ghost or something? Like Ghost Psychic or Flying Poison? or, or I, I can't even remember what Drift Woman is. But I think we should be okay, though. Uh, so we do have Glalie. That should be like a dud deal because we have Molten out here. Uh, but for Drift Woman, that shouldn't really be all that too bad either because we do have Spark. So that should be super effective. And uh, what's that? We're going to just flamethrower up here. Or we could actually go for Torch Saw and that would just be able to just hopefully annihilate the Glalie. So show us an awesome battle, Rhyme, and you too, student kid. Okay. Well, we'll do it. Let's see what we can do here with this Drift Woman and a Glalie. Really shouldn't be that bad. Sucker Punch? That may probably hurt for a little bit, but not as much as what I was thinking for. 
Slash, again, not gonna do that much either, but here we go. Spark, wow, look at that, a one shot right there from the drift one. So see you later, buddy. No ominous win for you out here, so that's perfect. There we go, level 43, and whoa, what the heck happened there with the glitched up flooring, but that's okay. Either way, we got our special attack already risen up here, and Glalie is already done. That's two Pokemon that we just literally just went and destroyed off right off the get-go, man. Calyrex, oh my lord. It's you again. Oh no. Well, I think what we should probably go and do is make sure that we become a pure fire out here because that Pokemon will probably become a very scary menace out here if we're not uh, too careful enough. Because uh, I don't know if we may probably have like some sort of psychic type moves or something out here. Wow, our attack is getting risen up here. Nice. Thank you. Wow, I think we're going to absolutely destroy out this guy at this point, because I think we can just set up for maybe a Shadow Ball. Uh, so let's go for a Spark, I guess. We'll set that up on Nimble, though. Uh, we'll go for a Terrorize, and we'll set up for... Let's try a Shadow Ball and see how much that's going to do. Because we got our special attack already risen up here pretty good, so get back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, no. Oh man, here we go. Who's gonna be getting the Terra typing out here? I really hope that it's gonna be just the Nimble, not the Calyrex, please. <laughs> I've already, I've already been through a Calyrex battle. I don't really want to see a Terra typing though of a Calyrex. That would just be very scary. So when the when I'm on the mic, when the dead rise up, DJ uh, G Rave over there is sure feeling it. Okay, here we go. Uh, who is it gonna be, man? Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be the Calyrex. Oh no. Oh, well, actually, you know what? You're a ghost, so that should be fine, because I think just a Shadow Ball should at least hopefully do enough damage. Hopefully it does. Maybe we can probably land our move first before the Calyrex does? That would be pretty nice. Here we go. Now we can become pure fire type. I mean, now we don't have to worry about having that ghost problem. So that would be nice. So hopefully whatever type of move that Calyrex sets up, it's not going to do as much back to us. So Pure Soul is it, Toxicity, let's bring the power- You don't even have a Toxicity, you have a Calyrex, thank you very much. Uh, that's a little bit scary. Uh, who's going to do it on- Ouch! Oh my god, I'm still alive! Oh my god, please just knock out the Nimble. Oh, thank you, you knocked out the Nimble! Oh, okay, Demon's still alive. Oh, oh thank you. Shadow Ball, please just absolutely, well, please annihilate this thing. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty good. We knocked out the Nimble. Nimble's already gone, so at least we don't have to worry about getting, like, hit for, like, two different shots out there with Demon, because Demon would have probably already went down. Okay. Now, I think what I'm just going to do is just set up for another Shadow Ball and just hope that everything is going to be really good. Okay, so it seems like we're going to get all the attack boosting and everything up here now. Got ourselves with defenses and everything. So perfect. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, thank you for all the stats. I just want to just go and heal up now. Thank you very much. Jeez. Okay, there we go. And then Shadow Ball again. And hopefully just obliterate this guy. Oh my god, I was so scared. When I saw that with, with Shadow Rider Calyrex again. Oh, please don't hit me again. Uh, no, now you're gonna hit me. Ouch. Oh, oh my god. Well, at least I didn't do as much that time. Whew. All right, goodbye. Get out of here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yay. We did it. Get out of here, Calyrex. My goodness. Oh, wow, there you go. Now we got some good level ups right there. Demon went out to 42. Wow, now that, I have to say, guys, if you've been wanting to see some sort of epic match, that has to be the time right here for this gym battle, or for this gym leader. Oh, yes, and also, too, we got ourselves an evolution that even makes everything better. We had an epic battle, an epic, like, situation that was going on here for this gym, and then we got ourselves now with Toxapex. That is freaking amazing. So awesome. Okay. Well, there we go. Poison water still with to Toxapex here. Hopefully we can get ourselves, hopefully maybe a nice good water typing move. Or maybe we can get Poison Jab or something. Baneful Bunker, that's also pretty good as well. So I wouldn't mind about that either. 
So let's go and switch that around. Uh, we'll probably... Does this still make it poison? In addition, uh, from this move is also poison the attacker. Yeah, so we'll actually remove all with Toxic Spice. I don't think we really do need that anymore at this point. I, I would normally kind of keep Toxic Spikes, like, normally, like, for, like, Nino King or, like, Nino Queen for situations, like, for, like, other for other things, but since I don't really have a Nidoran, I, I don't really have the, the means of using a ball for anything of Toxic Spikes related, but anyways, there we go, guys, so with the Ghost Badge. So, with six gym badges, it's e easier to be catched, Pokemon up to level 50, uh, and they'll listen to whatever they have to go to say to. Nice. And I feel so good, I think I'm also going to let you have this as well. We got ourselves, oh wow, we got ourselves another Shadow Ball TM, so thank you. Eh, well, well, not really another Shadow Ball TM, but uh, I know that we already just learned Shadow Ball already, but eh, we could go and learn it again to somebody else. Okay, so what's going to happen here? Do I have to immediately hit the toggle button? Hopefully so. Oh, but it's Hassle again. Okay, so greetings once more, Prox. I was watching your battle with the gym leader for the sidelines, and I must say, I thought that was simply excellent. Full marks, gold stars. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, I think that should be a gold star battle right there, because holy moly, that Shadow Rider, Cal that Shadow Rider Calyrex wanted back for revenge, because he knew that, like, during that last previous battle that we went and, and, and well, battled out with that Shadow Rider, you know that it was very easy, so he wanted to try and make it hard for us. Eh. Well, let me go and head back to the side here quickly, please. I don't want to run into a problem. Ah! Woo! Okay, I made it. Oh my god, what happened to my eyeballs again? Uh, geez, I don't think I ever saw that before with my trainer. <laughs> like, uh, I, I don't know what was going on there. It feels like Final Fantasy VIII for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> For what I just kind of saw with what happened with my trainer there. But here we go. We're finally on out of there. I'm just going to probably have to do another quick save once more. And I think with that being said in mind, uh, since we got ourselves with a brand new evolution, we got ourselves with our ghost badge, I think it's finally time that we go and start on heading towards to the next gym, which that is going to be right around here in this snowy region area. And we're going to go and reach on over here to where Grusha is going to be. So we're going to set that up as a destination as well. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one when we go and take care of Grusha. And we only have only two more other gym leaders to go. We only just have Grusha and then just have Tulips. And then we are literally done. And uh, hopefully we can go and take on the Elite Four as well. So we see you guys. And of course, peace.